Well, there is definitely a lot of opinions today. Um, as far as the mayor, he says that there has been a lot of progress in a lot of different sectors. But what we heard from folks at the big event today is that they wanted to hear just how the city plans to address a rise in homicides. OK, it's my turn. More big events and business expansions are just some of the things that Stockton has to look forward to. In his State of the City address on Thursday, Mayor Kevin Lincoln described a positive outlook on the city's economic growth. But one key issue remained in the minds of many, a rise in homicides. Lincoln points out that while shootings have gone down by 38 percent, homicides are up by 19 percent. Through our Office of Violence Preventions, ceasefire strategies, we've expanded our services to youth ages 12 to 17 years old while creating a youth prevention and intervention program focusing on deterring young people from violence. In addition to the youth-focused prevention programs, others believe more must also be done to enhance local law enforcement resources. Well, I think there has to be more aggressive recruiting, more diversity, um, and, you know, our young people like to see police officers that look like them. You know, if I can see it, I can believe it, I can achieve it, right? Bivin says she hopes the city will also implement additional recreational programs, parks, and activities to keep youth in healthier environments. And one message that the mayor did have to the community is that uh, making a difference and reducing the violence starts with life at home, but that doesn't mean that they're going to scale back on their efforts to try to make a difference themselves. For now, reporting live in Stockton, Josie Hart. KCRA 3 News.